Hello everybody and welcome to a somewhat special round of roster reviews. Our first account is Dragon2k13 and what's so special about this is this is the last roster review request from last year. So I shut off requests in June 2023. This is the last request from June 2023. All reviews after this are from late February 2024 or later. So it won't will no longer be a year delayed in the accounts I'm looking at compared to what they told me they're doing. It might take me a year to get through all those requests because there's like a hundred of them, but uh, we are turning a page. Uh, this account was started, uh, They I don't know when it was started, they said they were playing on and off for about five years, got serious two to three years ago, which would have been 2021 or 2020. 6.9 million GP, not that high. Uh, they were going for Luke, Giant Knight Luke and then Java, focused on Grand Arena, Territory Battle, and then they said sometimes raids. Um, and then they said they were free to play except for $20 way back when. So uh, we'll see if they have changed their spending pattern since then. Uh, Kyber 4. Um, we might have, yeah, we've probably got Lightspeed Bundles. I mean, very, very, very popular, of course. Uh, got Negotiator R8, Executor 7 Stars. No Profundity. Really weak Thrawn, which is unfortunate. Uh, like in Kyber. I mean, you need three fleets on each side in Kyber. So, what's going on? Uh, let's see. Resistance. Come up and five stars, weak Zori. Oof. Uh, that's a huge boost to that fleet, and it would be easy for you to do since uh, you're almost there with the fleet, and I'm guessing your Empire fleet isn't so great. Anakin Gear 12. Uh, I officially I have a better Anakin on an account that started the begin like January 1st, 2024, than this player that's been playing five or so years. And Anakin is an important player, especially for a ship, if nothing else. So that is a huge oversight right off right out of the gate. Um, I would recommend relics on him. Got a gear one level one item, that's bad. Seven star tie bombers, nice, but uh is it required for I think Star required for executor or something. It's required for something. Tie advanced tie fighter and relic tie interceptor. Get tie defender up. It's so good. Work on chimera. Like you have all the pieces right here, except for scythe. You don't have scythe, but these three make a good starting lineup. Then a tie to, uh, with tie interceptor there. Tie defender can come in soon. I don't get it. You got to work on it. Uh, profundity. I mean, is a huge hike. And I don't see any signs of working on that. That would be a large decision to go for that. Now, let's see characters. One, two, three, four GLs located. Uh, are there any low gear ones? No. I forget that we, I always forget that we have those little tags to help. And uh, on these reviews, sometimes I see a non relic uh, Galactic Legends or also like low Zeta. If they're low Zeta, they're, a lot of their GP is tied in their Zetas, so they, a little bit. We got the Ray and Kylo, may or may not have been from bundles. The JMK and Java, it's actually a pretty good mix. Um, Sith Eternal, if you decide to go for it, it's pretty easy. Uh, Lord Vader, you don't have Maul, it's uh, he is not that great. And I'm not seeing Maul near the top, maybe there is Maul, we'll see. Uh, Leia is pretty new, and then JML. Uh, JML would be a great next target, too. Uh, but let's look at we go with Empire. We do have Grand Inquisitor, so gear 12 might be a recent acquisition. Um, definitely R5, at least, or R7. If you want to help your guild get Reva shards, definitely do that. Um, I'm not seeing a low gear mooched Reva, uh, so definitely R7 for that is a good idea. That's one point or another. Um, Imperial Troopers are kind of weak right now because Dark Troopers low gear, but I honestly would prioritize all the stuff I've talked about so far, like the ships over that Dark Trooper. Um, let's see, Galactic Republic, they're pretty, pretty decked out. So that is a very nice faction. Uh, we got Padme and Anakin geared off. I'm actually thinking on my Gotenks account if I should even do Padme or just go for Qui-Gon, stick with that, because mainly what I care about is GSC. Anyway, just a side thought, because uh, she does require a Kyra deck, which is a huge pain. Uh, this player already has that past, um, at least the pre year 13. Kyra tech, um, Jedi. Uh, I mean, yeah, JML 
Shouldn't be too far off. Uh, four star cam, the win. Uh, Revan team, I mean, Revan Yoda. That's workable. Bastila gonna survive much? She's this low gear, you might as well give her. Oh, actually, she's got decent health to start with, but she's got good protection. You might as well load her up with protection, in my opinion. Like protection mods to help her survive on that giant Revan team. Uh, let's see, Sith. Ooh, not so much in the Sith department. Um, which is unfortunate. We do not have Savage or Press. We got a gear one, level one Savage or Press. Major faux pas. Um, Trey, a team not there, even though they're mostly seven stars. Highly recommend them. And again, I know it takes time. You gotta prioritize things. So I think the ships are the highest priority, but these are things you should probably do before chasing out of the GL. Um, unless you're like imminent on JML, which you might be. Uh, the Rubian Chewie needs to be R5 for that. Um, on Moth. Do we even have on Mothma? Am I see any Mon Mothma? Sometimes I feel like I'm playing Where's Waldo though and I'm missing something. But yeah, I don't see Mon Mothma, so JML's probably not on the horizon, and that's fine. I'd recommend all the things I've talked about before any other GL. Um, is there a mall? Yeah, we got a puny mall. What else is new? I, I'm not even surprised at this point to see those. Uh, but it's... I mean, you don't have Lord Vader and... I, you, you got a, enough Mandalorians, you should probably work on mall. Like, jeez. Like, people, like, there's so many amazing characters people just have and don't work on. Um, you shouldn't really be sorting by the bottom too much, because... Not like a maxed out account, but I'm looking for anything that'll catch my eye. Um, bounty hunters are probably in pretty good shape just because of. Uh, you got Jabba, Geonosians, like your 12 are just a perfect stopping point. Um, and then, yeah, bounty hunters are pretty decked out, so. Embo's nice with uh, Jabba, but you can really get away with Boba, so. And I did for the longest time, so, alright, um. Yeah, the ships are the biggest thing, Treya, Ball, like, lots of things to work on before you start rushing into another GL, especially, like, Negotiator and Chimera Fleet are fleets I use to counter, like, meta fleets, like, Executor, Leviathan, Profundity, um, or are amazing on defense and Kyber One, so those are better even than, like, I like, that would be easier to obtain, like, a working fleet for those than a, uh, I don't know, Profundity or something. So now let's look at some mods. Skills are high speed, I'm less concerned about JMK and Jabba's stats, are though, although I should look at JMK's speed, his fastest plus 151. No crit damage triangle, huge blunder, in my opinion. And then, plus 188 on JMK, that's pretty solid. I want to give that crit damage triangle to Slicker. E. Wants it a lot more. R7 Ray. Uh, close to 200k health, 115 speed. And great offense. For R7, that is great. This is sitting on my uh, 21 speed. And it's not offense primary, but that's an amazing offense secondary. So this is actually a top notch one for her. Um. Another, this, I mean, this the speed kind of sucks, but like the health and offense are great. It, it merits another slice and some calibration there. Uh, terrible speed, great offense. Like, I'm, I could tell there's a lot of good offense secondaries here. So that's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, I'm not, I'm going to give a pass on the slowness because I've talked about how that's not the most important thing for Ray a lot of times. Uh, this looks like a great cat, really fast, high health. Nice. Um, uh, 43, pretty nice. I got a little bit of health there. I'd like to see more health. Yeah, crit damage. Alter crit damage on the triangle. Alter offense on the arrow. Health there is good. 
Uh, but the speed is there. Yar seems pretty fast. Boosh seems pretty fast. I mean, Finn is a great choice if you have Zori. Um, I mean, it's okay on a raid team. Especially if you don't have Ben. Ben? If you don't have Ben, you gotta rely on... Oh, no, there is Ben. So, you're, uh, this is Zero Finn. Not as that important for speed. I mean, I, I guess you use him with Ray. But work on Zori. Um, and then he's gonna be amazing there. What is... Zori at anyway for stars? Five stars? Oh, well. They are working on her. I guess maybe that's probably just a Cairo gate. So that's not so bad. Um, Rex. Rex, a lot of people like to make him really fast, but you, he's someone you can really get away with not being as fast. Like when you use gas, it's usually like an overwhelming win with not the best banners, or uh, you're gonna look like it doesn't make an enormous difference. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, not as fast as others, and I'm. Yeah, you know, I don't think that's a big deal. The troopers that this guy has aren't great. Like, our troopers kind of the dark trooper kind of sucks. So it's not that big a deal. Uh, I'll check out Vader damage and potency. That's it's not bad. Yeah, plus one thirty eight. Uh, I I usually don't see them in a crit damage sets, but th I think this one actually works. Oh, uh, that was a good extra potency there. And uh, Revan seems a little slow to me. Uh, that's a little neglect on Revan. Speed him up a little bit. And I think we are good. Keep working on Rex. He's amazing. Um, this actually looks like my... Go oh, tanks Rex. Yeah, minus the Omicron. So he's at gear 10 too. Five stars. Um, all right, that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for letting me take a look and thank you for your patience. And next account we got is Clogot, or on my Discord server, he goes by Moth Clogot, uh, also on YouTube comments. Uh, but he's very active in comments, very active on Discord. Uh, he made his Discord name R9 Your Bad Batch because I said it, uh, you need to offer not as critical comments <laughs> on YouTube. It, 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 there weren't bad comments, it was just like always pointing out something. I might have missed and then he said all right i'll just comment r9 your bad batch on everything so that's what he made his name um started around and he's pretty smart so i think this will be a pretty good account um also evidenced by high fleet rank and negotiator looks amazing um started in november 2020 uh so roughly three and a half years ago at this point uh but they said he only started focusing around a year and a half ago which uh, this was requested February 27th, so maybe that was uh, late 2021. Um, was finishing Slicker and then working on smaller teams like Krex and Zori. Uh, working on R9 Bad Batch. Uh, I guess he's actually trying to do it as a passion project. Raid farming, next capital ship. He put like so many things, but whatever. Uh, that's enough. At 7.7 million, that's pretty good. And Kyber 2 is impressive. So. 2020 account that was not focused for a while in Kyber 2. That is great. We already see Marauder. Like, it's so nice. I'm always looking at Galactic Republic and everyone's got like gear six tech. Uh, this is a great Marauder. And of course they have R9 Bad Batch, so they're insane. Uh, like insane stats. Like this is, ship is 178,000 health. Are you kidding? 181 and it gets a lot of extra speed like it's a broken ship it's busted um they did get the light speed bundles and all that uh, they also have an alt that started around this a little bit ahead of me the go tanks account uh negotiator finished off five star exec seven star malevolent so we just have exec from the meta fleets um i'll just keep in mind i'll try to see if you want to recommend uh, Leviathan or Profundity, which probably not. Um, not seeing Fury. I'll see if Malgus is unlocked. I'm wondering if I'm gear 12. Kind of interesting that those two are gear 12. Uh, but yeah, it does not seem to be working on Profundity. And then Empire. Eh, I guess that's bare minimum passable.
your 12 item, but uh, definitely a, a focus in my opinion. High Interceptor. I mean, gear six, the, the ability still work. It works. It still triggers an early reinforcement. So that's kind of passable, um, but uh, definitely not what you want long term, obviously. Uh, let's move on to the characters. We have four GLs. Four GLs in a cover too. That still seems pretty good. Uh, Lord Vader makes sense with a bad batch. Um, and there is Maul, so it's a great add. Ray, Slicker, JMK. So we got the first two, G like uh, kind of the Wave 1 GLs and the Wave 3 GLs in Lord Vader and JMK. Missing JMLC, Java and Leia. Uh, got. Uh, Yes, Calcas Omicron. I, I hate TB Omicrons, but whatever floats your boat. Because, like, I'm, I'm still. I mean, I'm able to get. I get I'm get. i only able to do his mission in Zepho because of JML. Like, JML gets the ball rolling. So, without it, you kind of need that. So, I guess it makes sense. Um, yeah, R3, R5, R3, Cal. Um, Night Sisters. Oh, let me just run a little bit. Um, so Clogot, let me know. Are, have you gotten challenge tier three done with this? I've heard it's possible with just Daka relic and uh, Marin relic too, but I don't know. Let me know how far you've gotten there. Secrets and shadows. Phoenix. Ooh, Rex. Yes, bit of off. Get him to. R3 for full datacron access, and he probably already kicks major butt though. Ufus, I love to see Malakos, Seer, especially triple Omicron Malakos. Uh, that's interesting because we, we got a player that has Malakos, but not Starkiller. I mean, Starkiller is great. I definitely think that's something to keep on your radar, but I'm not going to say, like, go full bore for it or, or for him. Uh, definitely not for like Afra. Don't have Afra. I don't know. Let me see. Because there's droids are weak. Uh, Scepter droids. Yeah, I think like you can just leave them. Like, I don't think they're that important anymore. That's not too controversial to say. Empire. Oh, turn up getting like yeah. Get like it is so important, guys. To Red Crate or Gold Crate Conquest. Like, these characters are broken, and this account doesn't have every GL, but it's getting these busted characters, and that's like a huge, huge boost, which helps get you to Kyber 2. Or stay in Kyber 2, at the very least. Um, Pure Truth, <laughs> it's not worked out. Um, worked out too much. How, also, I want to know how far you've gotten in Rebel Roundup with these. Uh, those bounty hunters are getting it done. Yeah, bounty hunters. I think they they really struggle with challenge tier three though, and you kind of need imperial troopers. So that would be the argument to actually work on imperial troopers substantially. Uh, so, and so he doesn't care. Um, I mean, imperial troopers or something like the main thing is these salt battles, in my opinion, because that's the those are the gift that keeps on giving. Gifts, I guess. Uh, Jedi. I'm working already on Killer and Beck. Laughing at my dog. Um, yeah, Jedi looking good. I'm interested to look at the mods too. I already look at Rebel. No, I looked at Ufu. Saw is a beast. Chirrut for the Omicron. Nice. That's. Like minimum investment for maximum returns. You can have the Cheroot data card. I forget to look at data cards too, but like, yeah, this is a, an account that makes use of them. So we got the Keller and Beck data cron. Perfect. Yep, perfect stuff. Good stats too. For, yeah, protection. Oh, wow, that's good. Very good. Um, Holdo is another important one. Do we have the good level six? Yep. Yeah, perfect. L steel is also really important for Ray, so it's nice. Um, then Finn would be like the Zori team. Um, yeah, pretty much all of them want the. You can't kill them until everyone's under 100. 
health once. Uh, he likes a gear 12. I mean, unless you need him for an unlock, like you can get a lot done with them. Like that. This is Zori. Relic gear, gear 3. Like, Relic 3 is like such a nice, convenient stopping point for most characters. Uh, because you can use Datacrons up to their level 8 ability with R3 characters, and R3 is so cheap. And for a lot of characters, like support characters, they're, they're like, that aren't damage dealers or tanked, tanky, it's a marginal improvement after that anyway. Um, okay, uh, so yeah, the, to sum up, this account looks great. I think it's really efficient, really well laid out, thought out, planned out. Uh, and let's see how the mods stack up. And Jim K is the fastest. He's naturally really fast. Plus 173, not bad. Um, he, I mean, he makes things work. Kind of whatever is going on. Uh, crit damage. Uh, I don't really like crit damage on Lord Vader. It's okay, I guess. I like speed because you really want to lap, go through, and um, take as many turns, ramp as much as you can. Yeah, plus 134. Yeah, I've heard people talk about it. I just I'm not, not in that camp. Uh, offense and health. I used to do this. I now focus on speed. Because uh, there's a lot of counters with Springler Keller when you really, really need him to be fast. Like, an example was when, or against Leia in 3v3 still, like even using just Chia Brute Alpha. Then also against Lord Vader if you're doing that. You want him to be able to keep up. Uh, but this is a good amount of offense, so... It can work. I just think there's more possibilities for it to fail than full speed focus. 180k, uh, probably pushing a little bit on the slowness. Like, I don't like sub 500. Uh, the offense for R R7, that's a really high offense. The offense primary here. And primary again. No flat secondary. But 5.78% secondary. 5.4% plus 95 um, no flat offense secondary there, and then offense. So, yeah, that, that's a high offense, and that is the most important. I just would like to see a little bit more speed. Echo, fastest, I guess not too surprising, as the Bad Badge Aficionado, plus 181. So, no complaints there. Well, how much has the potency? Not much potency. I mean, you can get away with it, because this is irresistible. Um, but there's something... Yeah, the buff immunity and expose can be resisted. It says this attack can't be evaded, but that doesn't mean it can't be resisted. So that's why I do think you need potency there. Power 5 cat. Balance health and protection. Um, good speed. Okay, offense. What's your health? Offense. Protection. Yeah, I prefer health on the circle, but... Still pretty solid. Gets fast. Uh, 156. Troopers aren't. This roster aren't that great, though. Finn is good to have really fast with a Zori team. 324 is not shabby at all. Uh, Tech is pretty fast too. Um, did you load him up with potency at least? He can. He can be resisted. And uh, so. Like, his stuff can be resisted. So, I, I think you need more potency focus. Like, yes, you care about speed a lot, but a lot of times you bridge the gap from Echo, and I don't want to, like, teach you about your favorite your favorite squad, but uh, potency is a little lacking on these two. If you don't have good mods, potency mods farm. Uh, that's a really fast Zam. Uh, or, like, relatively in the, the line order, turn order. Good, we got looks like full protection and then good speed. That's mainly what you need. Um, nitpicking, defense sets and health sets. Wouldn't be too hard to replace a square in a arrow. Um, it's Cal looking. Off I mean, I have like a similar build. Like, I have offense that has good speed and like offense that's with pretty high speed. I think I might have quit damage. Uh, but the health is pretty high too. 
You want him to stay alive. And, uh... Revan looks a little slow. No, no. Why? Give him speed. Health primaries are good. But give him speed. That's that's a little neglect. There. Then I can look in. Good, got all the six dots for this ship. Um he does have crit damage. I mean, and that's like he is someone that like there's not a ton of characters that I'm like, you need crit damage sets, but Anakin's one of them. Crit damage sets. Once you have Qui-Gon. Wrecker. This is who I want to look at Wrecker here. Um health sets. Ooh, that's a chunky monkey. 158k protection, 117k health, 114 speed. The main thing is just the durability. I mean, the speed too. Like, you need them faster than Hunter, which I only recently switched to. Yeah, no, that's a, it's a thick boy. Then Hunter, it's not too far off. There's the other R9 Bad Batch. Um. Yeah, I mean, you see he's slower the record, so that's good. 10,000 offense, that's, that's not too shabby for him. He must do, I don't know, he must do tons of damage. I guess I'll just look at gas last and then call it a day on this one. Um, good protection, low speed, I guess that's fine. All right, so that actually seems like pretty good protection. That's not hard nine. A little slow, but yeah, it's fine. All right, so Moff Klogot, uh, thank you for letting me take a look at your accounts. An interesting one, and for the most part, very well put together. So nice job. And last account for today is Sticks. Uh, started in July 2021. Uh, focused on Grand Arena, PW and TB. Um, and he likes working on mods. So hopefully, there's good mods. Five million GP. Rhodium too. That's a. That seems pretty good to me. Five million. Um, maybe. You could squeeze into the low kyber uh, if you're really perfect, but I uh, will see. It said they were free to play until the lightspeed bundles arrived. Uh, and then he bought the BB-8 lightspeed and the Shadows of the Empire lightspeed, but he doesn't ever plan on spending again. So we'll, we will see. And I'm not seeing the uh, Ebon Hawk, and I think that was not. So I don't think there was any, like, ship. So I guess I didn't buy any ship lightspeed bundles. Uh, which is good. I mean, those are relatively... Good, good spending choices, I guess. Um, just unfortunately, the, if you waited a little bit for Slicker to come out, that's the BB-8 bundle plus Veteran Han, I think, and that's it. That's the only difference. Uh, got Negotiator finish off and Malevolence, so bravo there. Six Star Executor, looking nice. Uh, Chimera Gear 12, at least. Uh, not terrible. No, that's not what we want to look at. Let's see how the actual Galactic Republic fleet is. And no Marauder at all. So that's unfortunate. Um, do have Umbaran and Town of Starfighter and Anakin R5. So those are good. Y Wing is slow. I know it's a slow farm, but you need to, to get it for the sake of this fleet. It's very important. Um, Empire. Weak. The Go Tank account has a better TIE Defender. And no tie interceptor, so this fleet's pretty. Um, one GL apparently, unless there's lower gear ones. Uh, JMK and then gas, or theater Piet. Um, Rex R3. Uh, I love it. That's something that stands out. Uh, they do have Star Killer. I saw. Too far until we get to the gear 12s. Uh, Le Treya is at least gear 12, and I like that. Let's see Sith. Um, let's do the Star Killer. Savage gear 12 at least. Uh, Nihilus. Oh, yeah, that worked. Why would you get Treya all the way? Well, in the legacy raid system, it just kind of happened. But like, why would you develop her to gear 12 without Nihilus at all? I mean, she works well with Savage, but Nihilus, seriously, you know. Um, no other Sith, really, to speak of. No Darth Revan, no Bastille Shun Fallen. Pretty bad Sith. Um, Jedi, I mean, Jedi are looking pretty decked out. 
Um, no JKL. It's okay, I guess. Um, yeah, like I said, love Rex R3. Is this the Zeta kind of sucks? So I think it's on that. Like it's kind of like you, you don't need it. Um, Zeta on Kanan is great for the team, and Hera, and then also Sabine. I got the Zeta on Sabine, so that's a great Phoenix team. Radis is not going anywhere. Okay, it's uh, take your stuff plus Django from JMK and Grief and Mando are relics to make them work well, so that's a decent bounty hunters team. Speak of here, Dark Killer is fine. I, I'm interested to look at the mods. Stopping point for Geo's gear 12 flat, no gear 12 gear at all. That's like that's that's the move. Um, if you do eventually relic a, a Geonosian, I think it needs to be due to Brood Alpha just for his plug and play pre taunting resummonable tank quality. Oh, um, yeah, that's fine to stop there. I think that's good. Um, yeah. I bet, yeah, not that surprising, non-existent, pretty much. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's check out the mods, see if we got some quality here. MK is the fastest, as the only GL, of course, plus 190. That is a speedy Gonzalez. Very nice. Uh, Mara Jade. I'm looking out for Gus. Uh, plus 166. That's nice, and lots of extra potency. So fantastic. Revan is fast. I like to see it. I don't see it as much as I should. 174. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I like to speed them up as fast as you possibly can to increase the value of that team. Like, I slowed mine down because of the potential matchup of uh, JML versus JMK. But if he's leading his own show, the more speed the better. High health. Your damage. I, I guess that's okay. I guess, but like, it's. That's great. Great Raven mining. Dash is fast as well. Yeah, you want kind of want crit damage. Something I'd say. Oh, offense is good too, I guess. Uh, but I do think he does. He's gonna do more damage with the crit damage there. Uh, this is like a uh, great. Like the, a lot of these are characters I featured in my "You Want Them Fast" video recently. 320. Uh, I forget what the Imperial Troopers are on this guy. It's the Executor. Uh, Rexy is fast. It's one three. It's good. Potency. A little bit of potency. Mainly from the set bonus. Decent. Uh, Grief is slower than boss. A little bit. That's good. LS, offensive tenacity, nice. A little flimsy. Oh, that's from Relics, but that's good speed. I think you want offense to share it with the team through 3P and Chewy uh, for him, so maybe swap with. That's something you could swap with uh, Dash. No, it's an offense set. Uh, gas is pretty high up here. Offense and defense is what I like, plus 134, and pretty good. Good protection for R8, I think. A lot of speed, a lot of offense. Ooh, that's beautiful for him. Like protection everywhere, protection here, yep. What, plus 25 speed, oh man, that's nice. Yeah, but like this has got a lot of speed, lots of offense, that's incredible mod. This is great. Star Killer, we're looking for a lot of health and offense. Probably great damage strength, so that's good. Decent speed, especially for an offense set, that's pretty good speed. Uh, I feel like health would be a bit higher, but that would mainly just be squeezing it in on secondaries. That's a lot of extra offense, that's great. 
A little extra health there. As health primary does. Okay. They're pretty good so far. These mods are, like, looking very well thought out, so... Uh... Yeah, it's uh, looking like you're, you meant it when you tinker with your mods a lot. Okay, speed, good damage. Okay, offense. I was going to guess offense and potency here, but crit damage and crit chance. Don't want crit chance. I don't like that. Crit damage is good. Extra potency. Like, I, I go for a potency set secondary or a, even a health. Um... But not crit chance. He gets tons of crit chance during Merciless Massacre. Okay, let's see if he's slow enough. Tenacity and health. So you're running him under JMK, and a lot of times you're not even like you're not you're gonna be kind of naturally immune to debuffs, so you don't really need tenacity. I would go full health, because you got a lot of protection up, it's based on health. Full health, full health sets. Don't worry about the speed, make him slow. Don't worry about tenacity, give it to someone else um, that might want it, maybe Hux or something, uh, who already starts with high tenacity. Um, that's uh, close to it. So, no, this is a pretty good account. I mean, the modding is pretty good for where the account is at. 5 million, it seems like a better than 5 million account level of modding. Uh, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, finally into the current year with my review requests. Uh, that will change, though, because I don't know if I can even get through all these accounts that I let uh, requests come in through this year. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.